recording. Okay, so Robert, or sorry, Robert Rush, I think is the name of the person here, said, I've been following your work for a long time now. It's incredibly valuable and timely. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for everything that you do and making so much available to the masses. Would you give a rough estimate of a cost of a project like this? So they're referring to this greenhouse right here, um, including your time as a consultant so that we could formulate what would be feasible for someone else to replicate. Thanks again so very much. Rusty R. Okay, so the cost to get a builder to build this, this greenhouse here complete, is probably around between $65,000 and $70,000 if you were to hire someone to do all the work for you. The design for a set of blueprints, including structural engineering and stamping and all that stuff, um, is probably about five dollars to $7,000 if you're going to get something custom. We are going to sell these drawings. These drawings are going to be available for $500 for the greenhouse structure and probably another $500 for the subterranean heating and cooling system design um, as it stands right now. Um, those aren't available on the website, but they will be in the not too distant future. So if you're interested in that, we'll leave a link to the newsletter uh, in the show notes below. Probably the materials for this greenhouse are, so the, uh, that includes the ICF, the concrete, the steel, the insulation, um, all the timber for constructing it, as well as the polycarbonate, I would guess would be between thirty and $40,000. The polycarbonate alone was about $7,000. And if you've seen my other videos, you know that I made a few mistakes on that polycarbonate. I love what I did, but it cost a little bit more because I bought a six foot wide polycarbonate sheet, which means that not only is the sheet 24 feet, so it takes up all of those skid spaces, six skid spaces in a truck, but because it's six feet wide, it's actually a skid and a half and nobody ships anything as a skid and a half. So I actually had to pay for 12, skid locations in a truck in order to ship this thing north. So even though I get better light properties with a six foot panel than a four foot panel, I ended up paying a really big premium for shipping, which is like $1,500. The reason that you get better light characteristics with a six foot wide panel is because now my rafters are every three feet versus a four foot panel, I would need rafters every two feet. And so those rafters end up creating a lot of shade on the ground. Um, but I'm not sure if that $1,500 premium is worth it. Uh, so if you take a look at some of my other videos, I have a video that I did on um, whether polycarbonate or solar wrap is a, a better option, essentially. And so I'll leave a link to that in the card here, um, somewhere up here. I don't know where it ends up going. but um, And so there may be some other glazing options that you want to look at, which can save you a significant amount of money. The solar wrap comes in rolls, and, uh, and so the shipping cost is much less. And so it might be worth taking a look at that regardless. It also has better thermal characteristics, it lasts about the same amount of time and it's less expensive per square foot. So there's a lot of advantages. There's some disadvantages as well, but I recommend you take a look at that other video. The other option of course is to design one yourself. And so we have a DIY course um, that will take you through the ins and outs of designing a passive solar greenhouse. And I'll leave a link to that course down below. I also recommend checking out the case studies because there's lots of different styles of passive solar greenhouses. And so, you know, really getting clear on uh, whether it's a geodesic dome or a greenhouse like this, or, you know, there's a variety of different options. I think there's over 12 case studies of different styles of greenhouses used for different things. So check that out. I'll leave a link to the case studies in the show notes below as well. Okay, hopefully that was useful. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you.